Hello Internet, welcome to the Brian Trussell Show on location at a park near you. Well, it's probably not near you, I don't know where you live. Or maybe I do. Awkward. to you live from the park serves two purposes it's nice outside and I'm pale enough I need some Sun Let's see this as I sit in the shade Two, it's to be running around in a park burn some energy and they go to sleep early have fun guys well I apologize for the no show last week I just had a lot of stuff going on and you know what I'm not getting paid for this I don't need to explain myself to you you get what you get and you like what you get that's what she said Already a week into the Major League Baseball season. The Royals are already in last place, and if the mathematics are correct, they are already eliminated from the playoff situation. Oh well. Kansas City, you always got football season. Oh yeah, they suck too. Oh well. Now, I'm pretty sure I scared most of you guys off with my what the fuck video last week, or two weeks ago, with uh, guys kind of fondling the dogs. This week is a little bit lighthearted, and what's more lighthearted than a school play? So this is this week's what the fuck video. Can't you stop saying fudge all the time? It's boring, Tony. Boring? What's boring? You're boring. The kids' bop CDs have gone way too far this time. You do coke and you kill people. That's wonderful, Tony. I got a fudge joint for a wife. Man, I can't wait for that Boys in a Hood remake. Son of a bee! Her mom was so bold. They gave her a funny little bee maker. I'm leaving you, mother fudger. This will be pretty good for a play. How about Kids Boogie Nights? I can't wait for Kids 300. They should go around with kids. Tony, you're going to have to tell you, man. I got married to a sister. Kids Passion of the Christ? Kids Saul. Fuck you, Tony! Ah! Okay, so sir, you wanna fudge with me? You fudge you the best. Wanna play oops? Say hello to my little friend. Take that to pop roaches. Kids broke back mountain. Too far? Now I hate to put two sports takes in the same show, but it's been, it's, it's been that slow of a week. And this weekend you couldn't go by TV or radio or any kind of news network without hearing the freaking Masters and Tiger Woods. Jesus fucking Christ, people, about golf. Now, I'd be the first one to say golf is boring as hell. Sorry for all three fans of golf. Three fans. All right, sorry, Jim. All I can hear about is Tiger Woods, his comeback, his first tournament since the scandal, since he decided to go to the back nine of all those white women. Yeah, I said that. But all you heard about this week was, oh, Tiger's off his game. Oh, did you see the new commercial about his dead dad talking over it? And after all said and done, does anybody even know who won the Masters? Well, let me tell you who won. It was Phil Mickelson. Now, he probably didn't get all the big press like he should have gotten because everybody is all jocking Tiger Woods on his comeback trail. But let me just tell you this. He won the Masters. His wife, battling breast cancer, flew out to watch him play, was bedridden sick all weekend except for the final round Sunday, which she courageously got out there and watched him win the Masters and a huge gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching story that got overlooked because Tiger Wood likes to fuck white women. And I get home, and the first thing I see scrolling across the CNN headlines or the underbar or whatever is Tiger Wood settles for fourth place. He settles for it? I think he just fucking lost. You don't settle for fourth place. It's not like he went, ah, I'm good here. I'll stop, guys. Good luck. No, he lost. He blew it. It doesn't matter. Golf's fake. 
But shame on all the news outlets, sports outlets, everybody who shadowed over the fact that Phil Mickerson went out and won this huge tournament, their biggest tournament of the year. I don't know golf, so that's what I'm reading. And his wife, who he hasn't cheated on, I don't think, is battling cancer, battling for her life. And now I gotta hear about fucking Tiger Woods. I don't do the douchebag of the day, but if I did, it wouldn't be on Tiger Woods. It's not his fault he can't keep his dick in his pants. It's all on all of the news outlets, sports outlets. It's all on you. All right, now that I got that off my chest, getting some serious stuff. Pretty sure most of you are watching this on Facebook, and if you are, I appreciate your view. I appreciate your comments, and please push that little share button down below. Share this with all your friends and show them what crappy stuff I do on this sh channel. Sorry about all the shadowing. But as I was saying, if you're not a fan of the b &M Productions on Facebook, please do. I've been starting to put up questions to, from a couple of books that I got, Would You Rather? And they're kind of odd, sometimes sexual, sometimes really gross, sometimes really fucked up questions. And it's just, it's just a game. Just to get to see what people think, what their mindset is. And nobody really wants to pick either or, but I want to try to incorporate that into the videos. So be looking out for those. Comment. Tell me what you think. What should we rather do? With that being said, guys, I'll see you next week when I'm probably not walking around Payson Park. Until then, I'm going to go chase my kids around, get them tired. Well, that's going to do it for this week at Brian Trussell Show. Thank you for watching. Please comment, give a thumbs up if you're on YouTube, share this if you're on Facebook. Um, oh, one more thing. I didn't do a search for the Icon Jet this week because I've just been too busy. But if you have a question for them, leave them down below. I'm going to start writing them down. And I'm going to start collecting them now for when I do find them, I'll ask them then. So, But please, start giving those to me now so I can get them collected and situated up. But thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Get the camera out of the way, Brian!